There are times in our lives when we become sad, disillusioned, burdened by responsibilities and loss. It happens to all of us at some point. It's particularly heavy when one has lost a loved one. This is where we find Peter in the book of John, 21st chapter, verses 12 through 17. Jesus has just been crucified, and Peter's response can be easily explained. The Messiah put to death. Peter's Messiah hung on a cross. The Messiah, the one that Peter had dropped his nets, left his family, and followed to become a fisher of men. That Messiah is now gone. Peter was lost and devastated. Not only was Jesus dead, but Peter had denied even knowing him on three different occasions. He didn't know what to do. When a fisherman is lost and doesn't know what to do, they go fishing. After fishing all night, Peter and the other disciples joined Jesus on the beach. Jesus cooked them some breakfast from the fish that they had caught and fed bread as well. They talked and they ate. The scriptures say that no one is saying anything like, wow, this is Jesus, is it really you? And the scriptures say that they just knew. When they were done with breakfast, I pictured Jesus turning to Peter and saying, hey, Peter, let's go for a walk. And they strolled down the beach, maybe even reaching down and picking up a stick or a rock and tossing it into the water. And at one point, Jesus says to Peter, Peter, do you love me more than these? And Peter, a little shocked, immediately says, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. And Jesus replies, feed my lambs. There was a high school student whose family was for the most part chaotic. She knew how to navigate the chaos, but there were times when it was just too intense too volatile for her to navigate alone. One of those nights happened. It was the end of the semester, right around Christmas time. Finals were happening and the phone rang. Her burden had become too heavy and she needed help. Her mother brought her to the house in the pouring rain. She showed up and she had sweatpants on and she had a large hoodie that covered um, covered her face. She was completely soaked as she walked through the rain and came to the door. She came inside and she sat on the nearest seat, the piano bench. I went over and asked her if I could sit down next to her. I put my arm around her and we sat. There were no words from this vivacious, full of energy young woman. She remained in constant the hoodie for about 20 minutes. And then she sat up, she pushed the hoodie back and said, I have a paper due tomorrow and I have a final exam as well. I looked at her and I said, well then let's get to work. She went upstairs and changed her clothes and we got to work. She was able to graduate in June and not only that, the next fall, she went on to university. And a second time, as they're walking along the beach, Jesus turned to Peter and asked, do you love me? And Peter replied, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. And Jesus said, tend my sheep. A woman who has recently joined Community of Christ has responded to the awareness that there are persons who would love to be part of this community. So she extended an invitation to her whole neighborhood to come to church with her. One individual responded. They're a retired person who lives alone and visits his spouse who is in a memory care center. These are very, very tough times for him. Because of this invitation though, because of his responding to this invitation, he has found a community that loves him and is walking with him 
in support. There's a sparkle behind the sly smile that he gives you, a knowing that this is a place where sheep are fed. And yet a third time, Jesus and Peter walking along the beach. Peter, do you love me? Peter was feeling a little bit hurt at this point. And he turned to Jesus and he said, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. And once again, Jesus replied, feed my sheep. So there's a young family going through some extremely tough times. They were invited to come to church by their friends. They came and they found support and strength. They found a new kind of acceptance that reflected an unconditional love. It seemed that nothing they could tell to the congregation was going to remove that support and love from them. With the support of this community, they found the courage to face what seemed to be insurmountable problems. Their burdens, while still there, seem oh so much lighter. When Peter was lost, Jesus brought him back to the very beginning, to the basics. Feed and tend my people. Let them see my love for them through you. Let them know my love. Peter reclaimed his place as a disciple of Jesus Christ in the renewal of that original calling that he had that's talked about in Matthew 4.10. Come follow me and I will make you fishers of men. When we get lost, when we get confused and hurt and in pain, when we feel that the burden is too, too heavy. May we find a way to return to those basics and declare with every, everything inside of us, yes, I love you, Lord. And may we hear Jesus say, feed my sheep. We pray that we will be invitational in your assurance of God's love for all.